Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, July 22nd, 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a general reading, yes, so if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. And keep in mind that these readings are timeless. So just because it is coming through and it's dated for July 22nd, it mean, doesn't mean it has to resonate with you for that time. Yes, time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. If you come across this reading later on and it re resonates for you, then that's the message for you at that time. If you watch it originally, when it's originally posted, it doesn't resonate, but then you're drawn back to it at a later date. Again, that's the message for you at that time. Yes? Okay. Um, so before I get started, I just want to give a huge shout, shout out to Teresa Carroll for her wonderful 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 hospitality um she invited i did a reading for her this weekend she invited me to her resort in greenwich if you are not following me on instagram go ahead and do that but there are pictures of the resort it's beautiful it's called homestead inn um i spent the night there on saturday it i had such an amazing time thank you so much Teresa. that was really really amazing and i absolutely look forward to going back like that was fantastic absolutely so soon yes but um if you are if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and do that now at divine underscore conversations and i posted a bunch of stories but those are all gone by now but i did post um just pictures of the resort on my instagram page and it's just it's beautiful i had such a great time thank you so much Teresa. That was really very, very generous of you. Very amazing. I, I'm, I'm so grateful. So, so grateful. Um, I believe that's it for the intro. So let's get into the cards. So it's very interesting because when I woke up this morning, um, I had a TLC song stuck in my head, and I actually haven't looked it up I just but it's from the album ooh on the TLC tip um, which is one of my favorite albums um, but I'm looking it up right now so I can give you guys the because I don't remember the name um, and at first I was like at first I was like okay well I guess this is kind of you know relevant to hold on that's not that's not it you guys come on um, it, I guess it was kind of relevant to where I am, like, energetically. So I was like, okay, well, I guess so. But still, something didn't seem quite, you know, it, it was just weird. Um, it dep it's called Depend on Myself. It's that song. I can depend on myself. I don't need anybody else. To be on my back like that, so, so which is interesting because, I mean, I, I guess it was kind of relevant to my life, but I was like, wow, that's that's kind of strange. Um, but anyway, so I went about my morning, I meditated, I did my yoga, blah blah blah, whatnot, whatever, and then I got here and I started the pre-shuffle, and the two of pentacles popped right out. All right, and then you have the, excuse me, you have the eight of swords here. But you also have the chariot, all right? With this side of the Eight of Swords, you can see just how loosely she is bound, okay? And how she has that sword there that she can cut herself free with, you know what I mean? If she were to work it right. Also, there's an eagle on the card here. And to me, that's a symbol of freedom, liberty, um, royalty, regalness. Um, wisdom, insight, being able to see a bigger picture. Um, I feel like what's coming through today or in this message for wh whomever I'm channeling for at this moment, you're really liberating yourself. Um, you, it's like you found this sense of balance, this deeper sense of balance within your life with the Two of Pentacles, which makes a whole lot of sense because all that purging that we've been through over the last few weeks, which I'm going to, to be honest, technically we're not quite done with it yet. Mercury still is in retrograde and all that. But 
and I don't know exactly when it's going to go direct. Uh, there are plenty of sources <laughs> that'll give you that information. But it really does feel like someone's breaking free. It feels like you've finally reached some sort of balance, and it's like you're enjoying yourself now. I mean, look at the glee on that person, on that young young man's face. Like, I mean, come on. And then with the chariot here, you're moving forward. Um, I heard knight in shining armor, but I really feel like you're the knight in shining armor here. Not that you're really trying to save anybody, but it's like you've, in, in, in a sense, you've saved yourself is what I just heard. Um, you've brought yourself back into balance, or for some of you, you've brought yourself to a greater sense of balance, and um, it's changing the trajectory. It's changing your path. It's changing... It's just changing things for the better for you, okay? For whomever I'm channeling for, you know, you've become, you've come into this very independent energy. It's interesting, interesting because that Two of Pentacles is really giving me a super independent energy. And, it, and, and okay, and now they're showing me the Nine of Pentacles in my head. And it's, but see, ooh, good God. Oh, well, look, the Ace of, the Ace of Swords and the Sun just came out. I'm not going to take all of these, but look at that. The Sun and the Ace of Swords. And what I was just about to say is you've come to some sort of realization or some sort of understanding that's allowing you to stand in this independent state and to keep things in balance, but not just keep things in balance from a, mu a mundane point of view. It's about keeping things in balance and enjoying yourself in the process, you know? Uh, it's beautiful, and this really doesn't feel... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, the tower. Okay, and we've been talking about this tower has been coming out left and right all over the place. Um, but this doesn't feel like a sense, right, literally, I was just going to say, Six of Pentacles just caught my attention. It doesn't feel like an arrogant point of view with this balance, with you feeling independent. You don't need anybody else to, 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 to be on you, to, to, to depend on anyone, blah, blah, blah. But it's not about arrogance, uh, pride, ego. This is just like a balance between give and take. It's like you finally, you, some of you have finally found this new sense of understanding of the world around you and even of yourself that's allowing you to really be in a much more balanced state, um, much more self-sufficient also, okay? All right, guys. So that was your pre-shuffle. Now, let's get into the rest of your reading. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Monday, Janu January. Good, go good golly. Okay, well, some of you are still have found some sort of independence in the face of whatever happened in January. <laughs> there you go. But this is Monday, July 22nd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, I'm giving this five shuffles, but, um, oh, also, look, the, the hanged man was here, and the hanged man is reversed, okay? Which is a good thing. It means you're coming out of this hanged man state. Um, you gain some sort of clarity. Excellent. Five shuffles here. Now, also, in, in terms of that clarity that you're gaining, um, I did see yellow very strongly. It was very, it was very strong. It was yellow which is the color of the sun, which is the color of the solar plexus, um, especially they're showing me the chariot card again. So it's really like some of you have really found some new sense of direction here um, and understanding of what your life path is, where you want to be going, what you want to be achieving, accomplishing, what you want to be working towards. That's excellent. You, I also saw green, which is the heart chakra. So a lot of you are really have done a lot of really good and deep heart chakra healing is what I'm healing. I'm sorry, what I'm hearing. Um, but also you're coming, you're moving forward with this chariot energy. You're moving forward with from a heart centered point of view. Okay. What does your heart truly desire? What is truly going to be fulfilling for you? What's really going to be moving you in the direction of what it is you truly want um, versus maybe have 
for some of you, you've been keeping it on the back burner for a little bit, maybe even longer than a little bit, you know, but now it's time for the, the, for that to shine. I, um, I heard for that to shine and I also heard for the sun to shine. So the sun shining would be, you know, illuminating things for you, but your inner light, your happiness, your truth to shine forward as well. And then also underneath that was pink. So there's definitely an influence of unconditional love flowing from the universe that is allowing you to open your heart, which is allowing you to move forward in a direction that is in greater alignment with you. Okay, that's beautiful. I'm gonna give this two more shuffles. And then we will see what we have for today. All right, guys. Monday, July 22nd. Best messages, please, Spirit. All right, my eyes are closed here, guys. So we'll just, I'm just going to let this happen. And we'll talk about it once we get it yeah this yellow energy is very very strong it's very strong it's prominent okay so there's some sort of clarity that someone has come towards or has come to some sort of yes there's clarity the sense of clarity and a sense of understanding that someone is has achieved or is achieving um i just i feel like strongly those who resonate with this message most have come to this clarity pre prior to finding this message okay so for those of you who haven't quite found this clarity yet, um, once you do, I feel like this message may really resonate with you, okay? But underneath this yellow color, I'm seeing blue now, which is um, communication. Needing to communicate. I'm hearing needing to speak up about something, okay? All right, what do we have here? Oh, shoot, look at that. We've got the King of Cups. We've got the King of Cups. And he's facing us, and he's upright, okay? There is some sort of emotional maturity, um, emotional understanding. There may be some, I'm hearing there's may be some sort of action wanting to be taken. <laughs> I heard in the direction of a secret love affair. Good God. Um, I don't think, no, this is spirit saying, no, we're not talking about infidelity or cheating. We're talking about an individual whose love has, whose love for someone has been kept secret. All right. And then you have judgment here on the other side of the deck. Both are upright, which is great. Um, judgment had been coming out for some time, but it was coming out this way. Okay, so you had the, the, the moment where the angel was right in front of you. This is, to, to me, this is like the, re the real redemption side. Both sides can represent redemption. Hey guys, so my batteries died. Ha ha ha, in my mic. Luckily, I noticed it fairly well in time so i i only have to redo about seven minutes of the video <laughs> but it's okay all is not lost um so where we left off we were talking about judgment here okay um and i was saying how there's there's some sort of new understanding some sort of new realization that this King of Cups energy has gone through, all right? And I was speaking about how, you know, you have the redemption side here, okay, where, you know, the angel is in front of you and, you know, you, this, the trumpet is sounding. Here we have, we have the sign. This side to me just feels like the individual coming to terms with something within themselves, starting to realize some sort of truth within themselves, starting to see the bigger picture okay in some way and then once you get to this side then you can face the judgment right which is not necessarily a bad thing and it's literally just a clearing just a cleansing cleansing of the old so that you can close out the cycle and start something new all right i really don't even remember where i was so if i <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. If I start, if I like repeat anything of my, like uh, that was in the previous, the first half of the video, I apologize. But um, basically, what I feel like is going on here is we have an energy of a masculine who, it, now, now, first of all, this could be the masculine and feminine energy within you, okay? If that resonates with you, then take it as it resonates. Um, 
but I do feel like strongly, more strongly for this reading here, this is, these are two individuals, one embodying the masculine, one embodying the feminine. And I feel like it's the masculine here with this King of Cups, all right, and this judgment that is seeing a bigger, bigger picture, seeing the bigger picture here in some way, okay? Um, and this is kind of feeling like, you know, an end of, in a situation in which what we were what we were discussing last week, in which someone made a decision that turned out to not quite be the right decision, okay, um, for them for whatever reason. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing. First of all, we make we make. I mean, we make wrong decisions all the time, you know, it, it, especially with there are some moments where maybe you can't necessarily see, you don't not quite understand fully. And so you can't, you're not making, so you just make a decision. Oops, get later on down the road, realize, oh shit, that wasn't quite the right decision. Not a big deal. Okay. As long as you learn from it, it's not a big deal. But I really do feel like this King of Cups here from this new perspective or this greater picture, because also on this judgment card here you do have what looks to be is that an eagle or a hawk i think that might be a hawk but it's the the keen keen sense of sight eyesight being able to be able to up being like thousands of feet in the air and still be able to see very clearly what's going on on the ground okay on the surface um, it's definitely a bigger picture energy, which is allowing someone to come to some sort of deeper truth about themselves, deeper understanding about themselves, which is allowing them to live with, from a much more, a place of a much more open heart, all right? Heart-centered heart centered action. Now, if this is you in the sense of this is both your masculine and your feminine energy, you are taking action from what is really true to you from the bigger picture that you see within your life which is allowing you to be reside within your heart center and then your feminine energy here has turned her back on anything that would stand in her way she's not even trying to look at the distractions for some of you specifically there have been some distractions that you've been allowing to keep you from going forward and now you've turned your back on that okay that's really really beautiful but the thing about it is i am definitely feeling that this is mostly between one individual that embodies that is that is resonating more with the masculine energy even if it's at, oh, just at this moment okay and then the other person is resonating with the feminine energy but the feminine energy has turned her back and it's not like she's um she's upright here okay so she's just and it's funny because this is exactly resonating with the energy of what I was of that song I was hearing this morning. Uh, depend on myself. I can depend on myself. I don't need you or anybody else. So I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna turn away and I'm gonna go on a, a new, new. I'm walking in a new direction. It doesn't feel malicious. It doesn't feel like she's completely turned her back and she's never gonna turn around again. It's just like look. Look, it, it, whatever the situation is between any of between you guys, it's like she's just like, look, it is what it is right now. It's X, Y, and Z, all right. And so, I'm gonna act accordingly. It's not that I hate you. It's not malicious. It's just this is a waste of time if I'm going to continue engaging in this situation like it's A, B, and C when it's X, Y, and Z. Like, come on, <laughs> you know. And then with the masculine energy here. Uh, well, actually, now I'm seeing that this is both of you in some way. The masculine energy here is absolutely in a process of manifesting some sort of new leap of faith, a change in direction. But then also, so is the feminine. And it's funny because I didn't pick up on that before, but the, the feminine definitely is. So now the question is, can the two of you line up? Yes, of course you can, says Spirit. But you both have to be willing to do the work masculine like look and, and 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 look the only reason i'm saying it this way is because we've been in this narrative for the longest time the feminine is here the feminine wants the masculine period okay the, i mean there's no doubt about that and the masculine wants the feminine but in order for that to happen the masculine needs to take action okay so I'm saying it this way because it's like we've been in this narrative for the longest time. Masculine, if you want something, go get it. That's your domain anyway. 
the feminine is the receptive. So if you want something masculine, you have to go after it, which I do see you doing with this King of Cups energy, okay? But Wow, that's interesting. Zero to one, because we have the fool to the magician. This is a, this is a progression. Although, what I'm seeing, it, because technically, yes, you start with the fool and then you go to the magician, but I'm kind of seeing it as this way. You, you're starting with the magician energy and then you're moving to the fool, okay? Because you're cre someone here is creating a new leap, a new chance, a new opportunity at a leap of faith. We could be talking about love, but and especially from the feminine point of view, this feels like you're just you're you're following your happiness, which is exactly what you need to be doing. OK. There's a deep sense of emotional maturity, even in the feminine. That's just like, look, I, I deserve to be happy and I'm going to be happy. And I'm not going to sit here and allow somebody to manipulate me into thinking that I need you around to be happy. I can depend on myself. And that's the thing about it. I hear some of you saying this. And that's the thing about it. It's not, I'm not trying to be a bitch. But I don't need you. Do I want you? Yes. Do I want you in my existence? Do I want you to, in my life? Do I want to be able to talk to you, to share things with you, to spend time with you? Yes, absolutely. I'm not that much of a cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> okay? But also, independence is a thing. And I have every plan on asserting it. So if you don't like it, you can kick rocks, homeboy. Didn't nobody ask you to be here? Ooh, that's not all entirely true, is it? It is and it isn't. For some of you, for some, for some the feminine is like, yes, I do want you here. But for others, it's like the masculine's coming forward and is like trying to get, mm, yes. The masculine's coming forward, and in some cases, these are not, this is not a lot, but the masculine's coming forward trying to convince, trying to do that sweet talking, oh, baby, you know, you know I can get you this, I can do that. I, homeboy, I could get that for myself. What else you got? <laughs> okay. All right, so now let's get into the clarification section. Because I am feeling two major sections between the masculine and the feminine here. Oh, wait, wait, before we do that, um, I got into the, to the clarification section before and um, the King of Cups f moved and look at what's underneath the King of Cups, the Ten of Cups. But the Ten of Cups is in reverse here. So we're definitely, this is definitely a continuation. This is part of the reason why I do feel like this is a continuation of the situation in which we were talking about last week, in which someone, m mainly a masculinely oriented individual, made a decision that turned out to be not right, which is okay. It's not a big deal. We, make, we, we have to make tough decisions or quick decisions or just decisions in which later on we find, oops, that wasn't quite the right one. But as long as you learn from it, it doesn't really matter. And that's where this judgment energy is coming in and saying, okay, I'm starting to see the bigger picture now. I'm starting to come back to myself. It is within, even though we could be talking about a romantic situation, uh, absolutely, but it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be anything that's, that would generate some sort of emotional fulfillment for you, okay? Um, now, there's kind of like a lesson in contrast here. It, I, I feel like it was helpful for this individual, whether this you or someone that you're connected with, it was helpful for them to, to go in this direction because it helped them see what it is they want, what it is their fulfillment would be, 11-11, okay? Um, and so now they have a greater understanding of it. but. Potentially, if we are talking about a relationship, what I'm seeing is the person that might have been actually the better choice has kind of turned their back at this point. Doesn't mean that you can't get them to turn back around, but they're like, okay, well, logically speaking, you made that decision and you went in that direction, so nothing else for me to do but go on my own and turn my back. What I, I am hearing that you can get this Queen of Swords to turn back around, though, but she's not dealing with no fuckery, all right? She's not dealing with no tomfoolery. Don't you dare come at her trying to waste her time. Like, be serious. Because she's serious. Okay? Okay. 
now let's get into the clarification section here. I'm going to start because I do. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to split it up between the masculine and the feminine. The masculine has this. This. Uh, the fool with the magician energy, and then we'll go into the feminine with the queen of swords. Okay, there's three shuffles. Just some clarification, please, spirit. For today, for our message for coming through on July 22nd, 2019. Here we go. The Fool and the Magician. Clarity, please, Spirit. For the masculine, yes, but just for whomever wants to take some sort of action. Ooh, wee. There you go. The Wheel of Fortune. Uh oh. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so what this is giving me an energy that some of you, masculine, some of you are really doing some work. All right, you might have been, you might have been drowning yourself in work, um, <laughs> which may have, I just heard counterproductive because some of you had been really drowning yourself in work to escape the reality of the decision you have made, but that only helped you to focus on it more. And what you didn't realize is you escaping into work that like that put gave you the clarity by by putting your conscious mind to a certain task which allowed spirit and your higher self to really come through and help you gain the realizations that you were looking for yes i knew it queen of cups here's your counterpart okay wheel of fortune you have the two of wands all right a decision looks like it's been made oh boy the Page of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Swords, and Strength. Very interesting. Um, oh, man. Okay, for some of you... For some of you, infidelity is, infidelity is involved. I'm not trying to predict infidelity. I do feel like it's already happened and someone may have found out about it by now. Um, that's pretty icky. But, and, and I'm getting that from the Three of Swords here. Three of Swords. Now, it doesn't have to be infidelity. It doesn't have to be a third-party situation. It really absolutely doesn't. Um, what it could also be is just someone realizing, okay, that they may have made a wrong decision. And then, <clears throat> and that would lead to heartbreak for both people, absolutely, okay? Especially if at one time you, you thought, oh no, this is like the perfect opportunity. Well, you weren't completely wrong. It was the perfect opportunity or it is the perfect opportunity for you to learn who your true queen of cups is, all right? What I'm seeing with the Wheel of Fortune is I'm seeing a progression of time of someone coming to some sort of understanding about who truly their queen of cups could be, all right? Two of wands. Page of Wands, there is a decision that you need to make or you needed to make in terms of self-discovery. And that's really what I'm seeing here with the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Someone is starting to recognize who their true counterpart could be. Now, in this case, this could be the person that you chose over this person, the Queen of Cups. All right? For some of you, and that's interesting because now that is com that is in fact coming out. Now, this true, if you, if you know of this Queen of Cups here, she absolutely could have turned her back and said, mm, let bygones be bygones. You made that decision. It's okay, fine. You didn't choose me. You chose someone else. I'm going to go in a different direction. But this is not malicious. And actually her back, especially, yes. Oh, yes, honey. Especially as this Queen of Cups here, her back is turned because she doesn't want you to see the emotion on her face. She's trying to be as, good God, she's trying to be as emotionally detached as she possibly can. And for a queen of cups, man, that is damn near impossible a lot of the time. She is the queen of emotion, but she's trying real hard. 
So she doesn't want she doesn't want you to see the tears running down her face because of the choice that was made that did not involve her. All right. But for some of you, what I'm picking up now is this is the person you actually chose. And man, is this individual aloof. Extreme independence that I'm getting from this Queen of Swords energy. And that's not something you really truly desire. For the, I'm, I'm speaking to the masculine here. I'm speaking to this King of Cups. You want someone that is actually way more emotionally available. Is not so aloof. You want someone that feels just as much as you do and is willing to express it just as much as you do. King of Cups. And I'm getting, for some of you specifically, these are masculine energies I'm speaking to right now. It doesn't have to be a man, okay? It could be a woman that's dominantly in your masculine energy. Uh, this specifically feels like someone that spends most of their existence in dominant masculine energy, but you're starting to realize that um, with this judgment card here, that it, this, these emotions that you're feeling and this being emotionally expressive like this really isn't such a bad thing at all. Actually, when you actually express it, you feel much better. I feel like for some of you, some masculine energies out there that I'm communicating with right now, you've come to this realization with the self-discovery of the Page of Wands that your emotions are better when you allow them to be expressed rather than when you keep them bottled in. You feel so much better when you express yourself so much better okay now you have the knight of cups with the three of swords and strength finally so I, I what i feel like here what i feel like here um okay well some of you the infidelity that i might be picking up on may just be you realizing that you don't you're not as attracted to whomever you chose it's not the same. The, the attraction just isn't the same. So you might be keeping yourself from stepping out on the relationship. Okay. Stepping out on the marriage is what I heard. Okay. Um, be careful with that. You're better off leaving the relationship than cheating or stepping out just to see. Because that'll just create more drama. Okay. Um, but for others of you... You're experiencing this Three of Swords energy because you want to extend some sort of offer, most likely to this Queen of Cups, but you can't, or at least you feel like you can't. And you're really working on keeping, keeping your strength intact in order to not completely lose it. <laughs> I don't know. But some of you are really working hard. You have been working hard for the most part, but also you're really working hard this might be you drowning yourself in work still for some of you okay but the biggest thing i'm getting with this eight of swords is that your energy is either you're doing the work that you need to do to grow or you have been doing the work okay all right so let's talk about this queen of swords energy here let's get some clarity on that for the queen of swords Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Underneath the deck is temperance. All right, so feminines, we're talking to you here. You've got to be patient. You have got to be patient. Hold on, wait. I feel like there's more. And I know, I know, ladies and gentlemen of the feminine orientation, I know we don't want to hear that any longer. Like, how patient do I actually really need to be? Like, this is getting ridiculous this is getting ludicrous well no not exactly says the universe okay um that's just your ego getting caught up in time and thinking that you know there's an expiration date there really isn't i mean obviously yes your body is going you're gonna your body's gonna give out eventually but that's obsolete in the grand scheme of things all right temperance patience balance there's some there's, there's balance coming through now i what i really feel like is i'm speaking to the individual the feminine energy that has turned her back here and is very much like no logically based all emo no emotion even though there's probably still a lot of emotion but like no you made that decision i'm going this direction okay all right you have the seven of cups the four of swords the Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. And finally, the Five of Wands. Wow. Um, 
there's conflict here. You're, you're, you're battling yourself, to be honest. Part of the reason why you're in this Queen of Swords energy, it's not because you're emotionally detached. No, actually you're not. Um, your emotions are actually very high and very strong here. And probably your intuition is too with this Queen of Cups, all right? Now, like I said, this is the Queen of Cups here. Like I said, this does feel like the individual that was passed over, we'll say. Um, but it also could be, it could be the individual that was chosen. But that's not, I just heard, that's not likely here. That's not the strongest thing that's coming through. The strongest thing is coming through is this counterpart to the King of Cups here. There is a lot of, okay, when this King of Cups made this decision, there was a lot of confusion because there was a missed opportunity here. There was a missed opportunity here and, and you're kind of, and part of the reason why you've gone so cold is because of, because you did because of the fact that you didn't understand what happened. How, how did this happen? Like what the actual fuck just happened? Okay. And then that threw you into a bit of a purging energy. Four of Swords here. You, you, I mean, this. It's interesting. I was watching someone. I think it was Soul Source Tarot. Who who Teresa put me onto. I love. I'm. I love her. She's great. I just started watching her. But the Four of Swords. I think it was she. I think she's the one that described it this way. But the Four of Swords. I, it's almost like a death of an idea. And that kind of makes sense. Um, and that kind of fits here a little bit because now you're just kind of like, well, well, shit, I guess that's over. But you see, but, but it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a death of an idea. You might think that this idea or this opportunity is dead and gone, but I don't think that's completely true. Either way, regardless, that doesn't matter, feminines, okay? Because what's more important here is the, is the uh, reflection and the introspection that it sent you into. Granted, yes, we know this was incredibly confusing, but it brought up a lot of emotions that needed to be dealt with, okay? That needed to be purged, that needed to be healed, right? So with the Seven of Pentacles energy, I'm very much feeling like, all right, what the actual fuck? How the hell did I get here again? <laughs> like, we were aligning, things were going so well. We, I mean, I was following my intuition. How the actual fuck did I get here again? And the universe is saying, well, hold on, honey, just be patient because there's a much bigger picture here that you, you're not quite seeing yet, okay? Okay, I wanna get a closing message from the Tarot, but I'm gonna use a different deck. I'm going to use the crystal visions for this. So a closing message from the tarot here. And this is for both parties. I'm not splitting it up. We're keeping it just closing message, closing guidance for the individuals here. One more shuffle. Um, but the thing about it, the universe is saying you need to be patient. Both of you need to be patient because I feel like this King of Cups is really anxious. He's like, I literally just heard my Queen of Cups is getting away. My true Queen of Cups is getting away. Someone else is going to snatch her up before I can. Eh. Again, if it's meant to happen, it will happen. All right? But both of you need to be patient because there is a re-alchemization process here. The universe has a much bigger picture of which both of you are starting to get acquainted with. Judgment, okay, but there are still some things that you quite don't, don't quite understand. That's all right. You don't need to, says the universe. We let us handle this. Let us handle the minute details. You just go on about your journey. All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And we're gonna get the closing guidance. And then we're going to close the reading with Oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck, yes? Here we go, closing guidance, please, Spirit. I wanna say for this relationship. Oof. Okay, well, shit. Underneath the deck is the Six of Wands, victory. And what went flying is the Seven of Wands. Um, and to me, that's saying there needs to be a, re there's some sort of guardedness that needs to be put down. There are some walls or some boundaries that need to be put down. 
I'm hearing that need to be let go of, all right? There's a, there is a conversation that needs to be had here. Knight of Swords. I also feel like somebody wants to ride in like the knight in shining armor, which is the what came through with the chariot, okay? Oh, look, you have the star with the two of wands. Have faith that the right decision is going to, that the right decision was made, but also that the right decision is going to continue to be made. But in fact, the right decision has been made. It absolutely has. But you got to have faith. You have to have faith. Victory is coming forward. All right? And what I'm feeling with the Six of Wands is the biggest victory is someone realizing where they, have, where they may have taken a wrong turn. Which is really beautiful. You're right. And spirit, I, I, it's funny because I kind of want to say it's not even like, especially for this masculine here, that because you might be freaking out, but it's not even like you really made a wrong turn. It's just you took a little bit of a detour that ended up really teaching you a, a very powerful lesson. All right. But I do see somebody. I do see somebody making a, a, a coming back around real strong quickly hastily even, with a lot to say, with a lot on their mind. All right. One more shuffle of this deck, and then we're going to get our closing oracle guidance for today's reading. Best message, please, spirit. Oracle guidance for today's reading. There's a conversation that definitely needs to be had, though. And it could be between the King of Cups and, you know, the individual that they're with now. Or, but, or it's definitely between the King and the Queen of Cups, okay? Who is that true or the better fit? The better fit. I do kind of feel like the King of Cups has gotten himself involved with a Queen of Swords, and he's kind of like, what the hell is this? There's, like, no emotion. <laughs> Why would I ever think this was a good idea? <laughs> okay. Card number 30, Ascended Master White Matthew and Dan Bright, Original Self. My, my. Oh, wow. There it is. Okay. We bring you the blessing of Original Self. As you progress through your life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You grow more radiant and authentic, true to who you are, and as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty, so you discard it. Perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked. Oh, Ooh, whoa, guys, whoa, look at that. Judgment. Becoming clearer about who you are, seeing the bigger picture. Oh, yes. Wow. You are just you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Perhaps you were able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not, quote, get you, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others, of the world, and simply living as your original, radiant, divine self. That is amazing, you guys. Oh my goodness. I want to read more of this. If you have people in your life whom you love, but who try to change you, manipulate you, or have, or have become angry when you don't meet their expectations of who they believe you should be, you must take care of yourself. You have been created by divine design for perfect purpose. For you to be able to live your life purpose, you have to be who you are. If you are an open sort of personality, you, uh, as many on a spiritual path are striving to be, you must be sure you are strong enough within so the openness you have to others doesn't result in you becoming confused about who you are and what you are here for. 
Don't wait for permission to discover and be your real self. You are beautiful. Be you now. If you don't know who that is, take time to get to know yourself and find out. You are worth the time and effort. Uh, you are worth the time and effort and the world needs you to be you, no matter if others think they know better than the divine about who you should have been created. Wow. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!